This is Professor Rex Frimley. He has invented a machine which must not, repeat, not, not, not fall into the wrong hands. I want you to bring him here. That sounds easy enough. Lights! Yes, that's not quite what I meant. Sorry. The professor is something of an eccentric and uh, likes to, how shall I put this, likes to get away from it all. Huh, don't we all? So where's he gone then? Scarborough? Southport? Somewhere a little more cold and hostile. Cleethorpes. Hang on. This isn't Cleethorpes. It's outer space. Whoa! Harry? I should have realised. No gravity. Now's a fine time to tell me. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Tell you what, though, all this space travel does not make you feel hungry. Hey, hey, look at that. Have you got one for me? No, you wouldn't like it, Barry. Hang on. I've got some crisps here somewhere. Where's the pudding? This bucket? Oh, here they are. That's it. Hey. What's in it? Cheese and marmalade. Oh. Action and reaction. You won't stop until you hit something. Oh. Which reverses the momentum until you hit something again. Oh. Could go on forever. I hope not. I've set the video for EastEnders. Oh, well. Oh. All the blood's rushing to my head. Don't be silly. You can't do that. There's no gravity. Well, in that case, all the blood's rushing to my feet. Tell you what, I'll turn you the right way around. Oh, I must have overdone it a bit. Don't move. I'm trying not to. Oh, help! Oh, oh, oh. Hey, look, Barry, gravity boots. Are there any for me? There'll be some inside. Yeah, but I can't get down. Yeah, grab hold of this. What was that? A noise. I know. But what was it? It'll be the metal creaking. What else could it be? An alien? No such thing. I saw this film once. It was about this strange furry animal with black ears. Everybody thought it was cute and cuddly. But then suddenly, he started shaking and shaking. And whoosh! This big pink hand burst out of him. That was sooty. Oh. You better go and look. Uh, why me? It was your idea. I'm not going. Yes, you are. Ah! Oh, it's you. I didn't see anything. Perhaps it was the professor. Of course, the professor. Here, put those on and we'll go and find him. Right. Professor? Professor? What's that? Hey, that must be the onboard computer. Great. Fancy game of two, Red? You don't play games on these things, but we'll be able to find out where the professor is. They know everything, these onboard computers. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. What do you know about IT? It's an evening meal with jam and cakes. Now, how do you book this thing? Allow me. Oh! oh. <laughs> Specify user setting. Beginner, intermediate, or expert? Expert. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. This will tell us the exact whereabouts of the professor. You appear to have entered a recipe for crispy duck. Suggest user logs on again using idiot setting. You're right. They do know everything. Stupid thing. Professor Rex Frimley. After you. It's dark in here, Oh. Who would have believed it, eh? A swimming pool up here. There he 
is. Now remember, we've got to handle him very carefully. Of course. <laughs> Professor Frimley? Professor? Yes? Ah! Aliens! Aliens? Where? Don't be an idiot. They don't exist. A Paul and Barry chuckle at your service. Service? I didn't order any service. Did you, Leonard? We've been sent up by HQ to get you back down to Earth. If such a thing is possible. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Let's go! Just a minute. Yes. <laughs> why should I believe you? We're on your side, honest. Paul's an inventor just like you. Yes. I've just invented a clockwork gravy boat. Now he's trying to perfect clockwork gravy. What was that? I don't know. What's down there? Just the kitchens. Oh, well, I'll go and have a look then. <laughs> we thought it was you before, didn't we, Barry? Yes, but we're all here together now. And we know it's not you. We know it's not me. Or the Professor. Off you go then, Barry. Yeah, but you said go you... Go on, I'll stay here and work out a plan of action with the prof. They speak highly of me at HQ. Oh, yes. They put you up there with the greats, you know. Edison, Galileo, me. You? Well... Just a minute. Hold your head like that. Hello. Uh -huh. Open wide. Ah. Huh, what do you think? Young Albert Einstein? It's the tash, isn't it? No. I want to play tiddlywinks. <laughs> How dare you? Not a sausage. What a shame. I'm starving. I don't know whether this means anything. Mean anything? Here's me and the professor discussing aerodynamic experiments, and all you can do is bring us rubbish. Aha! That is not rubbish. That is Leonard's missing eye. <laughs> How can we ever thank you? You could demonstrate your machine. I know. I could demonstrate my machine. This is the result of 20 years of research and experimentation. What do you think? I'm not too impressed myself. It's a weather machine. This is only a model. The real device is a million times more powerful. Oh, just imagine what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands. Imagine what would happen if this fell into the wrong hands. Melting down of the polar ice caps, rain all year. Melting down of the polar ice caps, rain all, all year. year. I can see why they want you back down on Earth now. The real machine is quite safe. I've hidden the three things needed to complete it. What was that? Professor, apart from you, me and Paul, is there anyone else on board? Yes. Yes, there is. Who? Why, Leonard, of course. What are we going to do now? There's only one thing we can do. We'll all have to go our separate ways and find the alien ourselves. I could go back the way we came. I'll do the foredeck. And I'll do the kitchen.
That'll do nicely. I'll be leader of the world. Oh, yes. And how do you propose to do that, then? Simple. Anyone who dares to challenge me will have the wrath of the weather to deal with. Good answer. If you'll excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> Two, one, six! What's the other bit? I don't know. The house. Walls have ears. They also have eyes. Don't miss the bus. It's... Must be some sort of clue. Something to do with the Professor's weather machine. We'd better get to it before that Mandy does. Yes. The fate of the whole world rests on our shoulders. There's so much to do. Don't worry. We'll sort this clue out. Because we're Chuckles, Barry. Chuckles. And we never let anything get in our way. Fancy give me a space tag first? OK. You're it. <laughs> Shaking and shaking, and this big burst, this big burst hand thinks out of it. No, I haven't. <laughs> you are the alien. I'm not. Look. <laughs> <laughs> 